Hello, and welcome back to Katwa Shoujo. I had to think for a, about it for a second. Anyways, so as you may or may not have noticed, I have printed up my YouTube channel. I added a background in. It's not the best. It's just ones and O's. It's kind of cool. It's better than just bland. I got it from some YouTube background site, whatever. There was another one, but it didn't fit well. So, um, until I find a new one. They had gamer related, but none of the games I played yet, so I don't think I'd want them as it. So, um, but we are back, and I accidentally clicked and went ahead. So it said the pompous gates looked a, a, too fancy for what they were holding, or something like that. In fact, gates in general seem to do that, but this one, especially so. <clears throat> Jeez, I like, just cannot talk today. Anyways, red bricks, black rot, iron, and <laughs> gray plaster assembled into hole that didn't feel welcoming at all. This looks like a nice gate, though. I wondered if it looked like or if it looked like a gate for school should look like, but couldn't really decide. Probably no. Of course I didn't want to get stuck on thinking about the gate for too long, so I entered through it with a brisk pace that felt surprisingly good, and I just can't think at all. Moving forward feels good. So I walked towards the main building of Yamaku Academy with this brisk pace. I'm alone, as my parents are taking my stuff to the dorms, and they're supposed to be someone waiting for me. I'm just moving the mic. Alright. <clears throat> the grounds are incredibly lush, filled with green. It doesn't feel like the kind of grounds of a uh, grounds a school would have, more like a park, with a clean walkway going past trees and the smell of fresh cut grass and all the park-like things. Words like clean and hygienic pop into my mind. It makes me shudder. I shake them off. Stay open-minded now. It's your new life. You have to take it as it, it, as it comes. It's actually proven that in your, your mind will try to put words in that would, like, all I'm screwing up with would make sense. Otherwise, just not what it officially says. That's what I tell myself. A few big buildings loom behind the leafy canopies. Too big and too many for just a school. Everything seems off. It's different from what I thought I knew about schools. It's, yeah, it's an un uncanny valley. Even though I was told this is my new school, in the back of my mind, it doesn't feel like one. <laughs> I wonder if the feeling is real or caused by my expectations of a school for the disabled. Speaking of that, I don't see anyone else here. It's kind of eerie. It makes me wish there was somebody here so I could anchor myself to something tangible. I probably butchered. Tangible. Tangible. Jesus Christ. Instead of having that feeling that I stepped into another dimension, the trees hum with the wind, and the green hues flashing all around me catch my attention. It makes me think about the hospitals again. How they say that the operating rooms are painted green because green is a common color. So why am I feeling so anxious despite all this greenery? Ellipsis. Only after I stand in front of the haunted main building, I surprise myself by realizing why the gate bothered me. It was the last chance I had to turn back, even if I had no life I could return to. But still, after entering, there's absolutely no way I could go back anymore. He, he does feel better about this later on. I don't know all of it because I only saw Hanako's playthrough. I might do this multiple times to get all the girls. So, lucky you guys if you like this. If you don't, just ignore it. Feeling nervous and with the, this realization to set in my head, I open the front door. And if I do happen to do this again, I will probably load till... Maybe around here. Definitely after the heart attack. I'm not starting before that. That's kind of repetitive. Maybe even... I'll, I'll get there, don't worry. Feeling nervous and with the realization set in my head, I open the front door. A 
tall man with bad posture notices me as I enter. We're the only people in the lobby, so it's log only logical. You must be N na Nikki Nikki Nikai. So you are. Excellent. I'm your homeroom and science teacher. My name is Mutao. And I always think of his voice as Batman due to chilled chaos. Welcome. We exchange a handshake that is neither firm nor sloppy, and he looks at his watch. The head nurse asked you for a brief check and visit, but there's no time for that now. Oh, should I go later? Yes, afternoon is probably fine. We should get going and introduce you to the rest of the class. They're waiting already. Waiting for me? I don't really like being the center of attention, but I guess it's inevitable in a situation like this. Somehow, not knowing what is waiting for me makes for me makes me feel really nervous. Thinking of this, I almost miss what the teacher is saying. Do you want to introduce yourself to the class? Yes. I know this one's better. Yeah, sure. I mean, isn't that normal? Of course. But not everyone likes to be at the center of attention. I'm probably one of those people, but I guess I should do be the one to give the first impression of myself. Right, but it's no problem. <laughs> Let's go, then. My heart is pounding in my chest and it feels it. Again, your brain puts in a word. And it keeps me thinking about my condition as I follow the teacher up the stairs. The third floor door down the third floor corridor is marked with the classroom for class 3 3. Muto? Mutao? Mutao. It's Mutao. I don't care. Shut up, Japanese people, but don't because I love you all. Opens the door and enters. Good morning, everyone. Sorry I'm late again. I hesitate for a split second at the door, freezing on the spot. Ah, get a grip. This is a big step. I know that, but there isn't any point worrying much about it. Sorry, I'm moving my mic. At least not this soon. Then you get to see some people. Uh, and, and you, you can see it. There's Hanako. She's pretty. Her face is scarred, but I don't really, not really care about that. Anyways, I follow the teacher into the classroom. Look around, partially so I won't have to meet the curious gazes of my new classmates. It's pretty spacious. The ceiling's unusually high, and there's lots of space left over around and in between the desks. An entire wall taken up by blackboards and the high, old-fashioned windows only make it seem larger. The students' desks are just standard wooden desks with a shelf underneath for books and wooden chairs with metal frames. Simple and efficient. I stop walking in front of the class and I face the other students. They all look normal, like students from any other school. But then, why would they be here? They're, like, they're probably like me and have something wrong with them, only it's just not immediately obvious. Then I notice that one of the girls has been missing the thumb of her right hand. It's a little jarring. I, I, I don't know. You could probably find all these people and point out. This, I don't know their names exactly, but... Those are characters. I think she kind of pops in. Hanako, obviously. Not all the people you interact with are in this class. They're probably like me. Then I notice... Okay. Despite the natural tendency to listen to when someone's talking about you, I turn out the teacher's speech halfway through while he introduces me to the class. <laughs> I know it's a flash of dark hair and seeing that someone is looking at me. A girl with really long straight hair that is pretty eye-catching. As she seems looking me back at her, she covers her face with her hands as if to make her invisible. I'm guessing that's Nako. There's one boy with a cane and we passed him. With a cane leaning against the lockers at the rear of the room. Oh wait. No, it was over there. It's weird seeing someone that's so young with a cane. Another girl seems to have hand motions, sign language, her Misha? I don't, say, I don't remember their names exactly. Sign language? She peers at me with the rooms of glasses. Yep, yep, her. Then, no, she's Misha. This is. She's. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. It goes back to what she was doing. She's kind of cute. So is the cheery looking girl with pink hair. Sitting so next to her. She's really hard to miss. I don't know how I didn't notice her at the moment I walked in. Please welcome our newest classmate. He claps his hands, so does everyone else, except for one girl in the front row who has only one hand. I cringe a little, but hide it by bowing. And thanks for the, the applause. I'm kissing her. Plaza did not deserve. A collective silence tells me that I should open my mouth now. So, I'm Hisao Nakai. And after that, my 
hobbies are reading and soccer. I hope to get along well with everyone, even though I'm a new student. And after that, I'm being so boring. This is exactly like every self introduction ever. I should say something more, something more exciting. I end up saying nothing, and the teacher picks up from there. Everyone seems to be satisfied, even with what little I said, though. A few girls are whispering to each other, throwing glances at me. It could have gone worse. They want the D. Ellipsis. <coughs> spit one. Spit. Spit went wrong. Went down the wrong tube. Goddamn. Now I can speak in here, but not outside. This isn't going to be a problem. I listen to the teacher as he drones about getting along with, while letting my gaze sweep across the classroom. Everyone seems to be listening to him intently, and when he's done, they clap their hands again, which feels like a weird thing to do. The first row girl claps on this round with her one hand against her other wrist that ends in a bandaged stump. It makes me feel a little bad. No, you're not supposed to stare or judge or feel bad about these people. Well, you can feel bad yourself, but don't let them know that. Anyways, we're going to be doing some group work today, that'll, so I'll give you a chance to talk with everyone. Is that okay with you? Yeah, it's fine with me. That's good. You can work with Hakamichi. She is the class representative. She can explain anything you might want to know. And who else would be able to do better than that, right? How could I know? The teacher passes out the daily assignments and announces that we will be working in groups of three. It hits me that I don't know who Hakamichi is. Slow. The teacher seems to catch my helpless expression. Oh, right. Hakamichi is right there. Shizune Hakamichi. So Shizune. The cute, bubbly looking girl with bright pink hair and gold eyes waves her hand at me. I take a seat next to her by the window. Hey, I guess you're Hakamichi, right? It's nice to meet you. Ha 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 ha! What? I'm caught off guard by your laughter. I'm not laughing like an idiot. It's nice to meet you too, but. I'm not Hakamichi. I'm Misha. This is Hakamichi Shik. Shichan. Giggling, Misha points to the girl next to her, the one I saw using sign language before. <laughs> it looks like she. So I had their names right. Hala. 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 I don't know what I'm trying to say now. It looks like she has been staring at me the whole this whole time. She nods once, non gently, to show that she acknowledged my presence, but only barely. She has a short yet carefully needed brushed hair. A pair of oval-shaped glasses balanced on the tip of a dainty nose, and dark blue eyes. I'm just gonna... I love the music, so that's why I'm not trying to take away from it that much, but... You know, I can't have it overpowering me. I won't, won't let it. <clears throat> what was I? Dark blue eyes that seem to alternate every few seconds between analytical and slightly bored. It's nice to meet you. Well, I'm not gonna say ellipsis every time. She, th that means that she's signing. She immediately looks at Misha, who smiles, makes a few quick gestures with her. They both know sign language. She pretty much translates for her. Ma Kamichi, can we please call her Shizun soon? God. It makes a few gestures of her own. I start to wonder if the teacher was messing with me, saying things like, you'll be able to talk to people, and who better explain things to you? I can see you're a little confused, right? Right? But I understand why you would think I was Shichan. She comes up with nicknames for people. Shichan is deaf, so I'm the person who translates things back and forth for her. I'm like an interpreter, okay. I thought an entrepreneur for a second. I don't know why. She says it's nice to meet you, too. You're the new student artist, you well, Shichan? Of course he is. If he wasn't, he would have been standing up there for no reason, right? Right? He seems like a very interesting person, doesn't he? We knew there was going to be a new student, but we didn't know you would be here today. So soon. Hichan, right? Hichan? Yep, it fits, doesn't it? Did I say it out loud? It's just a surprise. I've never liked that nickname. I don't really see how. It fits. You look just like I imagined. Ha 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 Yeah, you look just like a Hichan. I wonder why everyone seems to think so. Hakamichi <laughs> taps their fingers on the desk to get Misha's attention. They gesture back and forth, each other excitedly, their hands a blur. 
seems a little overwhelmed. And Misha, by the way, I forgot to say her name in a sentence. Ha 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 ha! Sorry about that. Shi Chan, and if you get confused who's talking, right there. And, I mean, usually she'll say she's saying something. Shi Chan wants you to know that she's the class rep, so if there's anything you need to know, you can feel free to ask her. Do you like the school so far? We can show you around a little if you haven't had the time to work. Walk around and familiarize yourself with it. Misha stumbles with the hard word a, a bit, making it stick out in her otherwise fluid translation. Thanks, that would be pretty helpful. Yeah, I just came straight to class today. <laughs> That's no good. You should have always tried to learn as much as you can about where you're going before you go there. Not just with school either. Always, even if it's a trip to the convenience store. Really, Shichan? Ha 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 ha. Ugh. Excuse me. Not about where you're going. I guess I didn't bother to do that, or just didn't care enough to, to do so. I didn't look forward to this, even if I committed myself to go along with it half acidly. But, anyway. I don't say anything, and Misha signs something to end 